Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Bonito Days. Two players. Who is player number two? I am player number two. It's me, Bozo Robo. Bozo Robo is back. Means I can put up that graphic that uh, I drew for you a while back. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to be a different colour this time. I'm going to be green and green. I'm going to be... I'm stripey. I'm be speckles Dr. this time. Dr. Rhubarb, amazing, I love that. Dr. Rhubarb, I'm going to be <laughs> brown and speckly. Yes. Peach. 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 Nice. You're so, a fruit, I'm a vegetable. Last time we did the noodle cup and the herb cup? Yeah. Chicken ramen soup. Uh, Let's go chicken. Chicken, was it? Yeah, chicken. I'm very distracted right now. All right, let's go. <laughs> Chi Chi Flats. Chi-Chi as in the Dragon Ball character? Maybe. That Goku's wife? <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> I remember Chi-Chi in like, like proper Dragon Ball manga, yeah. original, and she's got like this big blade on her head. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. she just chops people in half for comedy value. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm green and green. I forgot what colour I chose. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going this way. Camera controls. Oh, there's options. I'm grab this. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm going, going, go, 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 go. I'm off. I have launched. Whoa. Okay, so if you didn't watch part one, this is a gliding game. And you have to land on targets, collect points, and outdo your rivals. And not drown. <laughs> oh. Oh, here we go, here we go. Is he gonna... So I'm, oh, I'm, I'm on the left. I'm on the left and Bozo's on the right. <laughs> and Unbelievable. We're not very good. <laughs> we're... we're... <laughs> It's, well, you're considerably better than I am. It's, it's a cute, it's a cute party game. Whoa, I do not know. No, that's wrong. All right, do do something good. All right, roll it. I'm just gonna try and get some points in. I'm not gonna try anything fancy. I'm just gonna aim for the points. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Why? No, no. Please, no. I did it. <laughs> oh, you got the round. <laughs> Dr. Rhubarb. <laughs> yes, Stilton in your last game is no good. Dr. Yeah, Rhubarb Dr. is where Rhubarb it's at. Is that. Yeah, Pe Peach is my failing. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer, was it Good Pub? Yeah, Good Pub. That that was odd. <laughs> That's an odd name. <laughs> oh, you're going that way. That's why. Yeah. Right, well, me... I wasn't at first, but... Roll. Oh, God, no. I pressed the button one too many times. This round is yours. <laughs> <laughs> we are terrible. Are there like dead people in the water? These look like faces to me. <laughs> oh yeah, they do a little bit. No, that, that's that's my bad interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> we are overtired still, because this is the same session as our part one where we were also overtired. So be tired. Put on another half an hour of recording, <laughs> and that's how tired we are right now. Off to minty drift. Well mint. In it. Oh. Well mint. <sighs> But drift though, initial D. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get in deja vu. <laughs> it's so, so good, initial D is so good. I love initial D so much. Roll. And I also like. Oh god, what am I Ooh. doing? I'm not supposed to be up there. Alright, go. Okay, nice. I am going this way. Oh, the music is kicking in again. Some of the nicest music you're going to get <laughs> in a video game in recent memory, for sure. Oh, did you land? No, 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 no. Oh. All right, I'm, I'm coming in. I'm coming in for landing. Coming in for landing. A nice I'm... big target and I still fell right, off. I'm going to drop it early. Drop it early. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, boy. That is good. Oh, almost 666. I've got 656. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the number of the beast. Alright, rolling up. Let's go. Go! Ikuza. Nice. Roll. Too fast. Too fast. <laughs> Hop. Ooh. And. Yeah, I let it drop to get that speed going. What is this? I want it. That's a 
0.25 multiplier. Are you going for it? You're going for the landing? Yeah. I think you got it. I think you got it. You got some hang time as well. Yeah. How does that work? I'm, I'm going to try a thing. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. What? Do I not get to... Am I just marble now? You're marble for the round. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. I that thought I'd somehow cool. done something wrong then. Ooh, 98 whole points. Wow, well, half of my body has gone numb. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's the half that I need. <laughs> so, yeah, apologies for the sound quality. This is a very compromised position in which we're uh, recording this. We're just sitting on the floor, basically. Yeah. Alright, roll. That's it. Top speed it. Yo, yeah. Right, swoop. I'm going this way. Oh, this is new. This is all new stuff. Give me a magnet. Okay, well, I'm going on an adventure now, so I'll just see what happens, I guess. Yes, I don't know where I'm going. This is a target I've not seen before. Like, I'm, I'm getting lost. I'm lost. Lost at sea. I was sort of hoping I'd come across another target. There we go. I found the target. Oh, I've dropped it early. Nice. Okay, coming in, coming in. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I would do it now. Oh, oh that was close yeah. for the 200. 150 though. Cool. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, you won that round. Nice. <laughs> it only took, what, like... <laughs> loads of rounds? Nice. Oh, but I didn't win the whole thing. Bubble oh, tea no. lake. Is this the one we had before? I think so. I'm withdrawing my hot takes on bubble tea. Okay. It's a lovely drink that I've had <laughs> less than five times. <laughs> <laughs> I need to widen my palate. Bubble tea is on the list. Along with everything else. <laughs> Good. Let Ma me know Ma how like you matcha. Matcha needs to. <laughs> yeah. Let me know how your bubble tea. Uh, I don't like matcha, goes. man. Let me let me be honest about something. No, this is new. <laughs> We've not done this. I'm pretty sure this is new. It's fine. I mean, in fairness, matcha isn't to everyone's taste. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm gonna sharp left. Swoop. Swoop. Where, where are we supposed to land? Is it on the buildings? Oh, this is a booster, I'm pretty what? sure. Oh, no. Boost. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we're still going. We're still good. Yeah. Nice. Zoop. Swoop. Oh, that's right. terrible. Is, is there a target to land on? I'm looking and I'm not seeing it. All right. Let's swoop some more. Oh, that was very close. It's all about the momentum. Okay, multiplier. Oh no, it's boost. I missed it. No, I'm not taking that. I want coming back. Give me that boost. There we go. Is is there somewhere to land? There I'm, must be somewhere. No. I've gone up higher. Oh, we've got five, four. Three, oh, no. two, one. Death in the sky is... Bam! Just flung my corpse into... <laughs> Gone. Nice. Next round. Chinko Islands. Or is it, or is it Cinco? Maybe it's Cinco. Cinco? Tamaki Sands. Let's do it. There's, there's such a variety of like influences going on with the design. <laughs> yeah. Because obviously there's a lot of like Japanese references and stuff, but those buildings look like something else entirely. Mm. Like Mediterranean or something. <laughs> Give me points. Yes. Thank you. Give me hearts. All right, I'm going to come in for land for an, for an easy start. There we go. There we go. Oh, coming in hard. 400? Oh, 
Oh, close, man. So close. All right, I'm going exploring. I want to see. I want to see the world. What? <laughs> oh, no. oh, did, did, I just, did I just knock you out? <laughs> did you just knocked me into the sea? <laughs> well, I want to see the world and experience everything, including murder. <laughs> so that's now crossed off on my list of things. You explore the world at all costs. Yes. Oh. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna no, make it. No, you might, you might. I'm vibing to this music. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna. No, no. Well. That's fine. It's all good. Come on, Dr. Rhubarb. <laughs> I'll, I'll try not to kill you this time. I'll let you go first. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I, I, I hit the edge of the map. Don't do oh. that. Don't do that. Okay. No, level out, man. Too high. A little bit lower. Get rid of them sweats. <laughs> <laughs> You're a drippy boy. <laughs> Some sweaty flying. Alright, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Yeah. Oh. Hey, it's points. Points is points. Points doesn't mean prizes. <laughs> oh. It's just points. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next. Betty Flop Cry. <laughs> it's nice. Alright, ready for this. Okay. Got some boats and cherry blossom. Okay, I keep forgetting what one I am, even though it's like <laughs> obvious. <laughs> okay, nice. I mean, by this point, all of our, our best spiciest takes and hot commentary was in like part one. Yeah. Pa part two is just about if you like the look of the game. Now it, now it's just vibes. <laughs> we, we, we're just <laughs> we're just checking out the game now for fun and roll and crash. <laughs> Good one. That's I'm a in the tree. That's a tree. Oh dear. I didn't like how long that tree lasted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're, you're levelling, yeah, you, yeah. you got to be a bit smoother. I think you're swooping it too much, maybe. I'm over-swooping. Yep. That's it. Whoosh. I'm going to go this way. Oh, no. Oh, God. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot to glide. I hate when that happens. <laughs> it stinks, man. Um... Sliding, swooping, gliding. Okay, well... Okay, your, your turn. Co commentate. Oh. Um, Narrate the scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realise there was actually a target here. I was too busy being in the trees. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, oh. Bam. Oh, nice. Because oh, oh, I had the, that. That cause I had the 10 ton power, it, oh, it just drops yeah. you. I'm learning the ways... <laughs> And I'm not passing on the knowledge. <laughs> this, this is this is how I win. <laughs> not not the most sportsmanship of me. <laughs> not at all. I'm not sportsman like at all. That's it. Swoop glide. So are we fish? Yeah. Yeah, we are, aren't we? With arms and legs. For some reason, I didn't even acknowledge the existence of the legs. It's <laughs> like, these fish got arms, that's well weird, man. I'm not worried about the fact that they got legs and shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and socks. Yep. Oh, what? Alright, I'm going this way. That's some nice hang time, though. Alright, I'm dropping. Oh, no. Right to the edge. Never mind. Ah, bounce. Oh. It's a bumper. 
man. Five, five, five. 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 Good stuff. I think that's your first round, though. I so think so. It's your first victory. <laughs> I think there are two more rounds, I believe. Do you want a different name? I like Dr. Rhubarb. You like Dr. Rhubarb? Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. I'm, I'm just a peach boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's a connotation there that I don't want to know about. <laughs> there most definitely is. All right, super cup. Rope swing rapids. Sounds safe. So during this loading screen, I just punched myself in the face by accident. <laughs> <laughs> in my overtired state. It's not not to wake myself up, just because. Just because. I, I'm losing all mechanical control of my arms. <laughs> so I just accidentally smacked myself in the face. All right, I'm still on the right hand side. Rolling. Up. Wait, what? You're on the left hand side. <sighs> I wish I'd realised that sooner. Rolling, rolling. Next time. Oh, Katamari vibes off this track. Oh, yeah. Big for sure. Katamari vibes. Oh, is that a water wheel? I'm going for it. Can I go through? Mm. No, that's a no way. No. A bolt, a bolt. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Okay, give, give me a stripey. Yoink. I'm not sure what the stripey does. You just Yeah, you just get a drink, but or, then... Or maybe it makes me slippery when I land. <laughs> Alright, target time. Oh, is it? Thirst. There's another multiplier. And I'm gonna drop it there. Yes. Nice. Good work. Alright, your turn. Show me. Okay. I'm going to do All it right. this time. Do, mm. do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> just... That was too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, oh, eyes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will do the thing. <laughs> just rolling around yeah. forever. Alright. This is the one. This is the one. It's got to be. Roll it. Alright, zoom. Whoa, whoa. I'm going go off map. I'm going to go around this way. What is this? Okay. This is... This is such a Katamari track. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's kind of blowing my mind. There's a harbour. There's a little uh, pier here with all kinds of stuff. Oh my god. Boats. Yoink. I'm gonna land here and spank. Boing. Uh oh. oh no. On. No. <laughs> That's a fat zero for me. At least let me get to the target. Are you doing alright? Left a bit. Over there, it's down. Yeah, follow the river, basically. Oh, the music stopped. I'm trying to sing along, and the song's just like, we're not singing now, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no singing along. No. You shall listen. Oh. <laughs> you shall not join in. That was a brutal spank. <laughs> Alright. Cherry. Alright, next. Ice tea crush. Ice tea? Oh, me? Me and drinks? <laughs> Do you not like iced tea either? I it's weird. I'm, I'm good with food. I eat all kinds of different kinds of food, but when it comes to drinks, I'm so limited on what I drink. They seem to be all very tea-based as well, what, mm. you, what you won't drink. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> if it's no, tea, no, don't no, hot, tea. no hot drinks, which is like when you've got a cat tongue. So yeah. I've, I've got cat tongue, yeah. <laughs> good one. That's <laughs> all on you. So yeah, I, I do have a cat tongue, so no hot drinks for me. Hot food... A bit more so. Too high, too high. Level out. <laughs> That's it. You, can, you yeah. can just like let go and you'll just glide. It's all good. So yeah, no, no hot drinks. No tea of any description. Down I mean, a... I don't like, you know, like down English a bit, down a bit. Tea. Oh yeah. But... Is that Earl Grey? Is that what that one is? No, that's something else. Just like, you know, like normal tea. But... Not normal but... tea. 
You know the normal tea that everyone drinks? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I can't be dealing with that. The thing I is, like in, in our country, people just call that tea. But yeah. for anyone outside of the UK, not yeah. knowing what that is. Yeah, it would be English English breakfast tea, I guess. English maybe. breakfast tea, yeah. okay. So basically, the, the hot brown water that tastes like dirt. Yeah. That is English breakfast tea. And to, to my tongue, most tea <laughs> tastes <laughs> like that. I'm, I'm not, I'm really not into tea. I don't, I don't get it. So that's, that's my hot take for this game. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a green tea person. Definitely. That's, that's like English breakfast tea, but weaker. I'm going to get no, hate. No, I'm going to get not, pure hate. Different. All right, all right, fair. Get out of all here. All right, fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Uh, me and my cat tongue will just leave. <laughs> <laughs> just because I'm, I'm a sucker for like fizzy drinks and yeah. soda. So that that's, that's me. Just the sugary stuff, which... <laughs> Probably explains quite a few things. <laughs> well, what I is think this? so. <laughs> okay, target time. Coming yeah. in, coming in. All right, boing. I actually landed on the target. So nice. That's quite nice. I am fifty. <laughs> hey, you got that bit. Yeah. Nice. Go for it. So yeah, water, juice, fizzy drinks, that's, they're my drinks. <laughs> so if you go at like social drinking, so oh, do you want something? I'm just like, oh, can, I, can I have a juice? <laughs> can, I, can I have a Coke, Coca-Cola or something? <laughs> Pepsi me. So yeah, I'm, I'm really bad. But food, food, I'll, I'll eat most things. Like spicy food doesn't bother me. Matcha ice cream. I mean, I'd eat it. That's the thing. <laughs> I'll, I'll say I don't like food, I, I, but I won't refuse it. I will, if it's given to me, Yeah. I will, I will take it. <laughs> oh, it's a, if, if I don't like something, that's it. I won't, I will not have it. Yeah. It's weird. A lot of, a lot of the, the stereotypically British foods mm. that people really enjoy and like are the foods that I actively do not like. <laughs> like, this is just like hot take food session in this <laughs> gameplay. Yeah. I don't I don't like bacon. That's that's such a massive statement to a lot of people. They're like, what well, you yeah, don't like bacon? Oh, it really is. And I'm like, it's have you tasted it? <laughs> you know, it's like I know you shove it on your face and you chew it and you say you like it, but have you actually considered the flavour in your <laughs> mouth? It's I don't like it. I've I've tried. I've had it I've had it for years. It was you know, I've had it daily yeah. for years and years and years and then as as an adult, I'm like, no, I don't want it anymore. So it's not as though I've just gone off it. It's like, no. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's very fair. So, it's, it's like going back to drinks, mm. milk. I, I don't like milk. <laughs> no, milk milk's so gross. It smells weird as well. I mean, I'm biased because I'm vegan. But All right, fair. Like, like just... he, he said it. He said it. Everyone was waiting. <laughs> Sorry, we got we got to run through this stereotype. We got yeah. we got to address it before and get it out of the way. Like it, even before, mm. I was just like, yeah. no, milk smells weird and tastes weird. I mean, I'll I'll have products with milk in for sure. Mm. But I I made a concerted effort because I wanted to be like you know healthy and whatnot. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna have cereal. And for about half a year, I was having cereal every day for breakfast with mm. milk. And after that amount of time nothing changed i still didn't like it i i can i can eat it yeah diet because you know i'm not a complete child and I, <laughs> like if, if someone gives me food i won't like say i'm not gonna eat that yeah yeah but at the same time i can acknowledge that i out of choice this is not what i would pick mm. and I, I do not like this food so <laughs> so yes cereals I, I, I can but out of personal choice i would rather not have it so <laughs> But it's the same with bacon. I can eat bacon. I yeah. don't. I don't mind it if it's like in a, a BLT. Just have cereal dry. Yeah, I'll, I'll have like cereal bacon or something. Cereal and bacon <laughs> together. <laughs> but yeah. So in terms of like Britishness of the stereotypes of people having nothing but in English breakfasts yeah. with tea, that's like everything that I do not like <laughs> in in one meal, <laughs> which which makes me very non-British in a lot of people's eyes. <laughs> They're just like, what? You don't like tea? And I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> yes, you could definitely start fights. Yeah. 
it's also because it's so entrenched mm. in our culture, which sounds like a ridiculous thing to say, but it yeah. really is. Like you visit someone, it's like, do you want tea? And you immediately say no. It's like you stepped into someone's house. Yeah. You've refused their accommodation. <laughs> and like you've, you've kind of put up a bit of an instant mood into you being a guest in someone's house. It's, it's awkward, man. <laughs> We had uh, oh no, we had some people over doing some work mm. the other week, mm. and uh, they were just like, "Oh, I don't suppose there's a chance for a cup of tea, is there?" And I was like, "No, there's not actually, because uh, we don't drink tea and <laughs> we don't have milk in the house." And yeah. they were just like, "Oh, oh, oh." So yeah, sorry, I can offer you like a Pepsi for that, <laughs> and, and, and a cup of water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or some oat milk, if you'd like. But it's it's kind of like that that kind of thing because it's such a potentially offensive thing. Yeah, it's it's good to address that ahead of time. So, oh, by the way, I don't have any tea. Do you, do you want me to get some ahead of time? Mm. You know that that kind of thing. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. I don't know, it's just a bit of an interesting insight, because I, I don't know if anyone's actually watched this far, and I don't <laughs> normally have guests where we talk this way. Normally we just talk about the game, we don't actually yeah. have like... A, Discussions about tea. About anything, you know, we don't really, really talk about everyday stuff, we yeah. just kind of keep topic on the game. So it's kind of nice that we've got a bit of a rambly chat chat going on. So maybe a lot of the people who watch my stuff I don't think I have many viewers from the UK so it might be like a bit of an interesting insight and I'm sure there are equivalents in other countries yeah with you know so you don't remove your shoes no. in someone's house that's like yeah. don't do that shit it's like, whereas over here it's just like they said no to wanting tea <laughs> <laughs> That, that just makes you really weird and yeah it's, it's is that a thing for some people awkward. like don't take your shoes off in the house or do take your shoes off in there do take your shoes off I can understand don't take your shoes off would weird me out uh yeah yeah uh, but if I go into a house I'm just like nope my shoes are coming off <laughs> as are my socks sorry but my entire foot is coming out yeah there's nothing you can do about it but it, it's not like a big part of our culture yeah. like some you can't you can go to people's houses and if you don't take your shoes off it's not really much of an issue yeah. people won't really address it uh, unless there, there are people who will directly request that you like take your shoes off yeah but they are generally perceived as being a bit more i don't know the word I don't want to say a, re a word that's like offensive because <laughs> like some people just say, like, yeah, I'll, t I'll tell my guests to take their shoes off, you know, yeah. <laughs> but over here it's it's not firmly observed, mm. whereas somewhere like Japan. Oh yeah, yeah, you, for sure. You absolutely take your shoes off. There's like rules, there's like names for the pieces of the, the house where you do and don't wear shoes. Yeah, like the special little uh, yeah, because you area. Enter, you enter the house and that's where you can wear your shoes because it's technically considered outside. Yeah. And then there's like a threshold where you step up into the house and that's like shoes off. <laughs> and that is like you... The no shoe zone. You, you will get confronted <laughs> if, if you step into someone's house still wearing shoes. <laughs> Look at all those points you've got. And I've got Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Unreal. Soda District. Soda District. We there we go. This is where you can go. Soda District. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm sip on all this in Maple City. This is a good time. I'm gonna check out the graffiti. It's got some scribbles. Got a, a, is that a skeleton? No, it's, it's someone wearing a stripy top. I, yeah. Just in my sick mind, I made it a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> got that bumping funk. Yes. No, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Whoa, whoa. I don't know where to go. Oh. There's a lot to do before you can even launch. All right, this way. I failed so much. Sorry, dude. Oh, here's a boost. That's it. Now I'm good to go. All right, I made it to the start of the level. <laughs> I actually got an item, but then I didn't really get an opportunity to... Oh, you got points? Yeah. All right, tar tar oh, target is small. No. No <laughs> way. I can't lie having this kind of chat. What, what, what should we talk about? This is unusual <laughs> for me. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like, like considering you know in the first one we we're just talking about the game. It's just mm. it's taken a 
An interesting. I keep looking at your side of the screen. That's <laughs> because because we are sat. <laughs> yeah. Opposite to how we're playing. I'm I'm sat on the left, but I'm playing on the right and vice versa with Bozo. Okay, let's let's do this. What's what's the most so uh I'll start again. What what is the most socially awkward situation you have experienced when visiting Japan? What is the thing that you did that caused problems? <sighs> that caused problems. Or an inconvenience or so someone basically if someone tells you not to do something in Japan you have crossed a line. Because um, any, any other time, people just don't care. They won't tell you. Because yeah. you, you're just like some random person. As in like something that happened to me. Oh yeah, something that happened to me personally while I was there. Yeah, a, an action that you performed that, that made someone intervene saying you need to do this. <laughs> um, Sorry I, to put you on the spot. No, <laughs> no that's fine. Um, nothing, nothing really. I... Uh, there was an incident in we were in Tower Records and uh, mm. it wasn't really like a uh -oh. sort of uh -oh. socially unacceptable thing, yeah. but there was like a like a small idol band playing mm. and we sort of we walked up just to see what was going a lot of, going on mm. and uh, I sort of I then got the giggles because they all had like different color coded hair. Okay. And so we were sort of standing there chuckling and I sort of thought maybe we shouldn't be standing here. And then this security guard woman came along and gave us the proper like, you know, cross forearms like oh, no. Shut up. Yeah. Stop, stop. So and I so I just sort of ran away and I felt so, so bad oh no. Yeah, I felt so bad. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like there there seems to be a thing like you just Give people their due. Just be yeah. Nice, just be nice. So they might. It might have been interpreted that. Uh, yeah. That, like they, <laughs> you, you they probably thought it was here. Yeah. You won't be. <laughs> I was just like. I was genuinely interested, but mm. also just. I just. You know. I'm like. I start laughing at something, and that's it. I'm just. I'm gone. He's just got the giggles, and yeah. that, that's it. <laughs> so. I, yeah. I, I hope I didn't offend them. I hope oh. they were called B Shuffle the band. I hope they're doing okay. S sincere apologies to B Shuffle. Yeah. Shout outs. <laughs> shout out. Shout out to B Shuffle. <laughs> I think we still got one more round we can do. I think so. So we've done chicken cup and soup cup. Also we've got ramen. Ramen. After the chili laps. <laughs> was there uh, was there anything particularly bad you did? Um There's there's a thing I was in Denden Den Town mm. in o Osaka. Yeah. And I didn't realise that there's an unwritten rule mm. that will probably end you up in jail if you don't adhere to it. <laughs> oh. Basically, I, I was in the shop just looking at some like um, well, weeb shit, you know, like ota yeah. otaku nerd anime stuff. And I, I, I picked up some bits and I'm like, cool, I've I got some shopping that I want to do. That is a death. Oh my god. <laughs> so you're doing better than me. Good surviving. So yeah, I was just looking in the shop, browsing stuff, picked up a couple of bits. I'm like, cool, I'll add mm. these to my basket. Literally, I had a basket with me. Yeah. And I'm like, cool, I'll, I'll check out the next floor and then I, I can keep shopping. Right. That, no. Oh, yeah. You, you have to, whatever you have found on that floor, you yeah, have you to buy it. Yeah, you pay for it there. Yeah, you have to, you can't transfer it between floors. It's not, it's almost considered, even if it's <sighs> not, it's essentially considered a different shop. Mm. So... And I started to go upstairs. I, they, uh, I got chased after. They, oh they come God. up. I, got, uh, you know, the the shop attendants and that came after me, saying you can't, you can't go up. You have to pay for that first. And I'm like, oh, and I, oh, sorry, because I don't know if there's an issue in regards to how they count their stock. I don't know if there's an issue. Oh yeah, it could be something like that. With, is there a history of people like putting stuff in their bag, shoplifting, mm. before you know, as they transfer between floors, you know, so it's yeah. So it, once once they told me, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh okay, sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to. But yeah, if, if they'd let me go upstairs carrying that stuff, that mm. could have been real trouble for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, the, so I bought my stuff. Then I went upstairs. Mm. Didn't find anything I wanted. <laughs> oh no, maybe I did. I can't remember. I got like a little, a translucent Studio Ghibli jigsaw puzzle. Oh okay. That you can put in a frame. And then mm. it's like backlit and glowing like a little. Um, oh, yeah. It's almost like a little uh, stained glass window. Mm. So it's kind of cute. I'm not going to make it. So I've got one of the Baron. 
and the special frame that goes with it that oh, you nice. have to buy separately. <laughs> it's, it's only miniature, it's like three mm. or four inches. But yeah, don't don't, don't get arrested in Japan. <laughs> oh, um, apparently they're really strict with um, shoplifters. Oh really? You'll get years oh my God. for shoplifters. <laughs> so so I've heard, you know, so I've heard. I uh, I had an incident with jaywalking the first time I went. Oh. Mm. Um, we'd got to the hotel mm. and I was like, oh, well, there's a 7-Eleven over the road. I'll just nip over there. And uh, so I just went to cross the road. And then uh, somebody came up to me and they did, you know, the cross, the cross arms thing again. Really? And then it was just like a random pass of eye. And then uh, he just tapped on this sign that I didn't even notice. That was mm. like a no jaywalking sign. And he just went, here in Japan? No. Really? And I was just like, I'm glad he told me, otherwise I just would have like never known. I mean, it probably wouldn't be a big deal, but yeah, I've not. It's weird because basically, whenever I've gone to Japan, I'm like, I'm just gonna follow what everybody else is doing. So mm. if people are using like the, uh, you know, the proper crossings, yeah, I I'll just do that. I'm not gonna jump out into roads that I'm not familiar with, sort mm. of thing. But I... if whenever I was out outside of a center, yeah, I out of city center, like in the suburbs. You, yeah, you just cross the road. Yeah, you know, but obviously you just judge it. You do it at an appropriate point. It was like it was quite a busy area, but I got caught out because it was night time and there was no one else around, mm. and there was also no cars. So I was like, yeah, whatever. It, it was quite cool. I noticed there are these little um. It's not not quite a mascot, but it was like a local. I don't know if it was a local campaign or just a campaign in general. Mm. And it was basically it, superficially it looked a little bit strange. It was basically a child hiding behind a post but but the <laughs> okay. idea of it was be careful with your driving because kids can just walk out oh yeah which it it made sense because mm. you know i had someone explain it to me <laughs> so, yeah but it, no, it was kind of cool it was quite a nice accurate visual way to explain it yeah. but not in a don't do that it's just like be careful because <laughs> it's, it's something to be aware of where's the way out yeah. Where's the way out? <laughs> I'm not doing very well in this one. There was uh, the first time we went over as well at the time, uh, my other half still smoked every now and then. Mm. And uh, so she just like lit up mm. walking in the street. And then that was another like, no, we don't do this here. Because they have like smoking areas and you can't oh, just like walk okay. down the street. Because we were like, yeah, walking down the street. And then we just sort of noticed all these stickers on the floor that was like, no smoking. Yeah, no smoking. We were like, oh, whoops. And this guy sort of said, if you just stand still and smoke and stand in the corner, you'll be fine. But I it think just... it's similar with eating food. It's, oh, it's yeah. It's kind of frowned upon to be walking around and eating at the same time. Mm. It's, it's kind of like, you're going to cause a mess. Yeah. And I it's... mean, like, you can do it, but like, people yeah. sort of but give you a bit of the old side eye. Yeah, I, I kind of knew about this one. So whenever I got like snacks, 7 Eleven, I, I would kind of like find the little curb yeah. or find the little quiet spot. Oh, they normally just, have like just a little a little porch outside of like, yeah. the convenience store. Just, just just find a place to like not move. Just, yeah. Just eat it there. Th throw your stuff away if you can find it. Or take your tr take your trash with you. Because bins, unless you're at like a vending machine, mm. there aren't that many public dustbins. Or well, you've got to, like go to a convenience store where they got like mm. recycling bins. And just stuff. just out just outside. Yeah. Yeah. Bubble Tea Lake. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh man, I miss Japan. <laughs> oh, I know, me too. I really want to go back so badly. Oh. Why does Bubble Tea Lake take so There we go. It's a big area, man. It's a big area. It's got to load up. Big lake. Uh, any more Japanese stories? What what theme should we have that will <laughs> inspire a, a, a first-hand Japanese experience? Um. I, I posted the first one. Have you, have you got a kind of experience? Oh, we crashed in mid -air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What, what, what kind of thing do you want to um, qu quiz me? Uh, quiz? Not, not quiz, like what, <laughs> what, what kind of did you, uh mm. Did you try and speak bits of Japanese while you were over there? Or uh, did you just not, not bother? I did, in a way, basically, uh, to a any anyone any person over there, it would be immediately obvious that I cannot speak Japanese. Mm. But say I was going to like a shop attendant, I wanted to buy something, I would still say sumimasen. Yeah. 
and obviously by my pronunciation they would be like this guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing mm. but at the same time I would be communicating enough in Japanese because I'd be like oh Arigato or yeah. Sumi Masen or Onigashimas, you know. So I, I would be using set phrases that would be enough to communicate what I needed. Yeah. But it wouldn't be like a conversation, you know. <laughs> it, would, it, it would be obvious that I'm, you know, a, non, a non-Japanese speaker. Yeah. But yeah, I, so I, I, I did what I could. I, I didn't just walk up to people and say, hello, can I, <laughs> where, where's the station, please? You know, <laughs> you know I wouldn't. So I, yeah, I, I, I put in enough to try yeah and then either it would work or they'd speak to me in english or it'd be awkward mm. <laughs> so, what, what about you what would you do uh i tried my best like mm. sort of i could i can't speak loads but it was you know enough to to be polite i guess oh no um i did have an incident where I was trying to order in a restaurant and uh, I said what I wanted and I was just trying to say thank you very much and instead I said uh, arigato onagoshimasu and <laughs> thank you please thank you please oh no to which uh, the waiter just responded uh, that's alright mate and I was like oh my god <laughs> when he said that <laughs> yeah oh, cool just, and then just alright mate <laughs> just the rest of his time like uh when he was like serving us was just he just spoke completely in English you're, no, d- you're done you're dead <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, you got done even though I was trying like it's so hard uh, but never mind yeah the, the my my Japanese basis is because I'm a, a giant nerd mm. is frankly because of anime yeah. that's that's like my primary inspiration yeah. to wanting Tomorrow. to visit Japan you know all, all that cringe shit yeah so like the biggest expectation mm. that that you have when you go there uh, when you hear do or don't hear certain phrases mm. and a phrase that I never once heard out there was ganbate or ganbarimas I never yeah. heard it I, I this this is something you hear in literally every anime that you will ever watch mm. and consistently it's it's like across the board and but in Japan I never heard it one time, <laughs> and I'm just no, like, I don't think I did either. A- anime has lied to me. Just they don't say this all the time. No, not at all. I heard Daijobu once, mm. and it is because a small child in a shopping centre face planted, <laughs> and the mother was asking the child <laughs> Daijobu, <laughs> and yeah, so uh, I understood <laughs> what she was asking yeah. her child. But, uh, yeah, but that that was another that was another falsehood that anime yeah. led me to believe. Sumi Masen is used universally. Just you'd say that constantly. It's it was like ninety percent of what I said to people. I would say it's more important than Konnichiwa Ohio. Yeah, it's it's the most important word you need to know. Sumi Masen will get you through literally any situation. <laughs> literally, literally any situation. <laughs> so. No, make a note. Learn it. <laughs> Learn that word. And it's it's weird. Just just like certain gestural phrases will get you through. Mm. Like I, I I was with I was hanging out with with someone like a friend. Yeah. And like um I I just I held a door open for him. And yeah. I, I I just went like doors off, you know, <laughs> and he's just like. Your Japanese is really good because basically, in in the given circumstance, it it was the perfect context, yeah, and the perfect scenario to use that phrase in that way. <laughs> so, <you> know, <laughs> and I'm just like, mate, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I said it half as a joke. <laughs> so, you know, it's just sounds coming out of my mouth. But it, it was it was it was the absolutely right way in context to use that. So that 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 was, that was my moment of pride. <laughs> And I, I never had the nerve to use it again because it would <laughs> just not work out. The uh, the first uh, that first time we went over that first day was just like fraught with difficulties. <laughs> I was trying to like uh, we got a taxi because we got lost and we needed to find the hotel. Hmm. And it had the the name of the hotel had the word villas in it. Oh yeah. So I was saying it how I thought you would say it. I was saying biras, 
Mm. And the guy kept thinking I was saying biru. Oh. And I was like, no, I'm not. I don't want you to take me to beer. <laughs> I want you to take me to like this villas. villas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was just like, nah. And he was like, he wasn't like really old, but he was like, you know, sort of like late fifties, maybe mm. like this, but like, you know, the proper ta- with the white gloves, mm. that sort of taxi. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he was just like, he was trying his best, but he did not speak uh, a lick of English. Lick. <laughs> you rode a taxi in Japan. Yeah, I, I only, didn't have the guts, man. I only, I only did it once, and yeah, I vowed yeah. to never do it again. Oh. It was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I, I rode a bus one time and I did not know what was going on. Mm. But it getting the trains, trains is easy. Yeah. Getting the trains everywhere is completely fine. And it's really straightforward and really easy. I am dead. <laughs> but um, I got the bus one time and luckily we we had a friend with us who's like a native speaker. Yeah. And so she was able to coordinate literally everything for us. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And I'm just like, so we were, we were fine. It was under control. We weren't going to get lost or anything because she was mm. with us. But it's like, I got no idea how we would navigate this if it was just us from English speaking territory. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I don't know. This was around Kyoto. Kyoto yeah. buses, I don't know how you work. <laughs> we, we got a bus in Chiba, but I cannot for the life of me remember how this came about, mm. like how we knew the right bus to get. I think we just totally winged it. We're just like, we need to get back to the station. We walked further away from it than we thought. Yeah. Going to Toei Hero World. <laughs> so we were just like, let's get the bus back and just, yeah, we managed to do it somehow. This tiny little bus that I could barely fit on. We, we got the Ghibli bus. Oh, yeah. We, we got, got the Ghibli well. bus and that, that was somehow we made that. That was okay. Probably because you just followed everybody else because mm. everybody else was going to the same place. Ghibli bus was a success. Kyoto bus was only a success because we had a native speaker with us. Yeah. It's not not clear. I think the, the Ghibli bus is so funny. We stood the first when we went there, and on the way back, I was like, "Now sit down." We went to the back, and I went to sit down, and it was like my knees were up to my chin. <laughs> <It was> like... <laughs> and, and you're not you're not as tall as me. No, so, <laughs> so like <laughs> if oh, it man. were you, it would have been <laughs> it would have been so much worse. Just like. Oh, man. Like, I'm not super tall, but it was like, sometimes it would just be a little bit of an inconvenience. I did hit my head on a few door frames. It, when, when we rode the bus, we, we were doing Kyoto, uh, we were doing about five things a day. We were going top speed, and we yeah. saw all kinds of stuff, so I was knackered. We're riding this bus, public bus this is, mm. that I didn't know where we are going. So I'm just like, right, we'll just trust the person who's showing us around. I fell yeah. asleep, and later on... <laughs> They've, they've all been talking about me while I'm asleep. They're just like, oh yeah, like salary man. Don't call me a salary man. Like, <laughs> That's rude. Yeah, because I've because I've crashed out. I'm just like, yeah, that's typical like salary man shit. And yeah. I'm like, I'm not salary man. <laughs> <laughs> just so, on holiday. Yeah, trying to have a good time. <laughs> but no, it, it, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kyoto is cool. There, there's one place that. We went to that's really nice. It's mm. I think it's quite a popular um, tourist destination, but people just because it's not like the Golden Temple, Silver oh, Temple. Yeah, yeah. It's not somewhere that people mention that much. But it's oh, I'm going to get the name wrong. I think it's called San Jusen Gendo mm. Temple, and they they've got like a thousand Buddhas on display or a thousand statues, mm. and it's like. You come, it's one long building, so you come in one end of the building and right, right to the, the vanishing point. Right. It's nothing but these statues. Oh my god. Because I, th- I think they're kind of like, uh, like a, I don't know. I'm probably interpreting a bit, or this was several years ago, so mm. I might be misremembering, but it was just like a sign of dedication that they just made literally a thousand of these statues. Mm. And it's it's such a sight. All these really statues neat. in a row. There's, I think there's like a constant like um, renovation system going on with it because they're so old yeah. and they're constantly gathering dust. They just go from one end to the other and once they reach the end they just start oh, just over. back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's an incredible place. But it's because it's not one of the big ones mm. like, you know, Fushimi and Ari. Yeah. Because everyone goes Fushimi and Ari. But yeah, the, the Senju Zengendo was really, really cool. And I recommend it to every Kyoto visitor. <laughs> and the Manga Museum. Go to the Manga Museum. 
Oh, still good. One more round. Did you go to the manga museum? No, I, I, I'm yet to go to Kyoto. That's ah. Oh. Ne that's next time. Mm. That'll be where I'm going. It's cool. We went to like a proper traditional thing. It, it it's not cheap, mm. like hotel wise, but it's it's such a one off. It, it, we, I'm glad you did it. So. There's a big, uh, like, sort of Toei uh, Toku museum there as well that I want to go to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they've got, like, all of the suits. <laughs> well, the Toku... Yeah, like Kamen Rider mm. and Super Sentai, all of that mm. stuff. Yeah, we, we just did the the fairly standard tourist spots. So we went to, like, the uh, the castle mm. and, like, some of the temples, that, that, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Manga Museum was like, we have to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really want to go to that as that, well. That, that was like, I was the only person in the group who wanted to do it, and I'm like, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I think I was, I was slightly concerned the, uh, our, our native um, mm. Japanese speaker, that I, I knew so much more than what they did. <laughs> Cause oh my gosh. Because I'm just like, oh, it's this, this and this artist. I recognise this artist, and I'm mm. telling them the names. And they're just like, what, you can read it? And I'm like, no, I can just... <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just know the artist. So, no. Got it. Nice. Got that hang tan. I'm pretty sure pretty every, pretty much every round that we've done, whilst we've just been chatting, I've just bailed. We've just been chatting. It's all good. Oh... I think that might be the end. I think so. Alright. That was not Bonito Flakes. No. Bonito Island. I don't remember the <laughs> name gonna... of the game. I'm a terrible person. I was going to say Bonito Waves. Bonito Waves. Is that it? Bonito Vibes. Bonito Days. Days. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that was Bonito Days. This is fun. And my throat is dry. But yes. The game has supplied quite a nice vibe, quite a nice atmosphere, which has inspired a conversation <laughs> quite nicely that we weren't expecting. So it's really pleasant experience. So yeah, gather up some friends, goes up to like four players and just kind of chill out on the vibes and check it out. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. This is Ushio and Bozo Robo and we are signing off and hopefully we will see you next time. Peace.